Hi, I'm Delia. Welcome to my channel. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. For today's video, I'm going to show you the journey from Bukit Batok to Chua Chukang. If by car, it only takes a 10 to 15 minutes, depending on traffic conditions. Now, let me share you a brief description of the route. First, from Bukit Batok, take Bukit Batok Road towards the Pan Island Expressway or PIE. Then, merge onto PIE towards Tuas and continue for about 5 kilometers. Then, take exit 36 and merge onto Chua Chukang Road. Continue straight on Chua Chukang Road for about 2 kilometers, passing through the Chua Chukang State. And then you'll arrive at Chua Chukang Road with various shops, eateries, and amenities along the way. Please take note also that traffic, road conditions, and time of the day may affect the journey duration. It's always a good idea to check for real-time traffic updates and use of a GPS or mapping uh, or mapping app like Google Maps or Waze for the most accurate and efficient route. The journey takes you through the heart of Singapore's urban landscape with a mix of modern architecture and lush greenery. However, um, the ongoing roadworks at Chua Chukang might make the views a bit more like industrial <laughs> than as usual with construction sites and road diversions along the way. But don't worry, the scenery will still give us a glimpse into the vibrant and bustling neighbors of Singapore. Let's just keep in mind that the roadworks might change the scenery, but the journey is still a great opportunity to observe the local culture and the daily life in Singapore. Oops, there's more. This time, I would like to share you some tips on traveling. First, safety first, okay? Always research your route and destination beforehand. And stay aware of, of your surroundings. Second, dress comfortably and practically for travel. Third, pack smart and light with essentials like a portable charger and of course water bottle. Fourth, stay connected with loved ones and consider sharing your itinerary with them. Fifth, be confident and assertive and don't hesitate to ask for help when needed. Number six, Embrace new experiences and be open-minded to different cultures and perspectives. 7. Take care of yourself both physically and mentally during your travels. And lastly, for ladies, consider joining a women's travel group or community for support and connections. Oh, wait, wait, uh, there's more for men, this time for men. Yeah, this one is for men because uh, I think I forgot to mention it specifically for women for the first part. So this time, for men. Okay, let's go. First, you need to research, research, research. Learn about your destination, local customs, and potential safety concerns. Then, of course, you also have to pack smart, bring essential items like a portable charger, travel adapter, and comfortable clothing. Third, stay organized. 
keep important documents like your passport, ID, and travel insurance in a safe and accessible place. Next, stay connected. Consider purchasing a local SIM card or portable Wi-Fi hotspot for easy communication. Of course, take care of your health, pack any necessary medications, and consider vaccinations or travel insurance for unexpected medical expenses. We just don't know, right? Be aware of your surroundings too. Stay alert in a crowded areas and keep an eye on your belongings. Respect local customs. Learn about local dress codes also, traditions and cultural no cultural norms to avoid um, unintentionally offending locals. You can also bring a money belt or secure your wallet to protect your valuables. Consider packing a portable power bank to keep your devices charged. Stay flexible and open-minded. Be prepared for unexpected changes or challenges during your journey. Always remember, preparation and awareness can go a long way in ensuring a safe and enjoyable